<laughs> what is up, everybody? This is another episode of What's Up with Matthew Sitz. And folks, I have some bad news. Uh, we tried to get Joan Crawford um, on the show today, but she wasn't responding to my texts. So we had to go for second fiddle, and uh, we've got uh, Mr. David Serda. David, are you there? I'm here. Thank you for failing in for Joan Crawford. Oh, well, I, I do it a lot, so I'm used to it by now. That's what I've heard. Um, do you, do you, uh, how close are you with, uh, are, how, are, how close are you with Joan? I feel like we have a psychic connection. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's just, it's very easy for me to, to be Joan because I think I, we, we share a lot of the same hardships and insecurities that like most actors uh, do. And, I, and she's just somebody I can really relate to and I have a lot of empathy for. Yeah, I've got your, um, I've got your bio. I did a little Google research Ooh. and that's the joke. Did you, <laughs> did you found a little rock band called the Jones? I did. Is it still going? I did. Mm, not, Here and there. Sort of, not really. We haven't done anything in over a year, okay. uh, but we do have uh, two videos on YouTube, um, oh. like real videos. Uh, and it's founded under the construct, what if Joan Crawford fronted a, a new wave rock band? And uh, our big like hit is Mad at the Dirt. Mad at the Dirt? Yes. And Everybody should a, look that up. You, you don't know it, Matt, because you're a, you're a, a straight dad or whatever. <laughs> yes, I am. That's a line from Mommy Dearest. I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the dirt. <laughs> Very famous, famous line. Oh, okay, got it. Um... <laughs> we got to get you to watch this film. What's the name of it again? I have a list of film. Mommy Dearest. Okay. I'll check into it. Oh, my God. I can't believe you've never heard of Mommy Dearest. I feel like I have heard of it. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Folks, even through it's these. Zoom- by Christina Crawford, her daughter, who after Joan died, she released this tell-all book accusing Joan of being a, you know, beating, being a just a horrible mother. Oh, well, I'm, I don't want to have anything to do with this then. No, no, no. You don't. It's, it's nasty yeah uh david how are you what's going on in your life these days you well, you know I'm, how are I'm, you, you know, I was just talking to somebody about this i was just on the phone i've been connecting with a lot of friends a lot of old friends um and i'm good i'm using this as an opportunity to um you know i usually stay at home i work from home so i usually stay at home uh and i work on a things for my theater company Helena Handbag Productions and I and I um I write I a lot of the content we do I write and so I I write plays and I I perform in them and then I also do grant work grant applications and just about everything I'm like the only like full-time staff for Helena Handbag and we have you know volunteers and ensemble members do certain things but I really um have been using this as an opportunity to write and we um we postponed our our uh, golden girls the lost episodes volume four show twice and then it, mm. now it looks like well maybe we'll do it in the summer i don't know we're taking it a day at a time uh so i'm writing i'm writing um some new things i'm writing our show for uh our fall show and we 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 released our season, but we had a to be announced for our fall show. And so I, uh, I'm working on that. Uh, and I'm taking the time to, you know, you're sitting, I'm sitting here forced to be, you know, I, my partner lives here, but he, he goes out during the day and he has a space to work. And uh, I'm, I'm working, I'm kind of brief. This sounds really corny, but I'm working on myself as well. I'm taking the time to reflect yeah that's not that's not corny at all yeah doing you know working on some stuff because 
I'm trying to work on things where you're always, I don't have the time to do that. I don't have, well, now I have the time. Yeah. Uh, David, maybe you'll be proud of me. I finally took the time to clean my baseboards. <laughs> I mean, you uh, come over and do mine. Hey, yeah, no yeah. problem. If, if the price is right, no problem. <laughs> yeah. Kidding. Unfortunately, I'm not like Joan as far as cleaning, like being compulsively a neat freak. And so I have been cleaning too. I've been cooking a lot. Uh, between myself and my partner, mm -hmm. uh, I'm the better cook, so that means I do it. Oh. Um, I don't do like sweets, sweets. So I've been trying sugar-free recipes for for baked goods, chocolate chip cookies, and brownies, and that sort of thing. And because um, I do have a sweet tooth, mm -hmm. and um, I need to, I need to satisfy that hunger for yeah. for something sweet. Uh, David, you mentioned earlier you're the artistic director, and actually, I see you're the founder. You gotta be, you gotta brag about that. I'll, I'll brag for you. You're either the founder and artistic director of Helen the Handbag Productions. Tell us a little bit about um, uh, what what that uh, theater company does. We are dedicated to camp theater, the style mm. of camp. Okay, which is um, some people don't like that label but um camp to me is an art form it's a queer art form uh that started a long time ago and it started as sort of like a secret code language with certain words and certain um mannerisms or or and um it's just uh we like to turn things on upside down and make fun of them and we do camp campy parody um you mentioned earlier you know, you're doing what's the name of that sitcom the go the the Golden Girls the Golden Girls mm -hmm. volume four and it's the Golden volume four we've been doing the Golden Girls for it'll be four years now and um, we've done various we've done Golden Girls Christmas Valentine Golden Girls Halloween Golden Girls regular shows uh, they're very popular and all the Golden Girls are played by men um, and and, and it's sort of my version of the Golden Girls. I write these Golden Girl-like scripts, but they're a lot filthier. Um, mm -hmm. They're a lot more ridiculous, and they get into situations that maybe when you were watching the show originally, you would, you'd think, what, yeah, that, that makes sense in this world. Why would they, you know, that sort of thing. And it's really popular, and we have a really great time doing it. So... Folks, here we go. This is a, uh, it's on, we're on to the games now for this uh -oh. um, portion of the episode. The first sh uh, game is called Five Things. Five, five, five. David, name me five foods that start with the letter D. Okay, donuts, my favorite. You have a sweet tooth, so we know that. Darjeeling tea. Darjeeling tea. Wow, you're getting fancy. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, quack, quack. Duck. <laughs> duck. 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 <laughs> duck. <laughs> um, do da bon. Dinty more. <laughs> Dinty more. What, what is that? It's a brand name. That's a brand. Okay. It sounds like a celebrity. I don't even know. <laughs> You're too young to know anything. Dinty Moore is a beef stew. Oh, okay. Damn you kids. <laughs> um, and daiquiris. Daiquiris. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the, I, yes. So do I get to ask you something now? Ugh. Yes. I forgot about that already, and it's on my note cards. <laughs> All right. Give it to me. Name five television shows with a woman lead. About a, five television shows about women. Okay. Um, I'm going to have to say... Oh, so this is great. No letters. No letter. No, no, no letters. Yeah. Which is fantastic. Okay, great. Um, Golden Girls. Mm -hmm. uh, Sabrina the Teenage Witch 
Okay. <laughs> Um. Uh. Speaking of that weird realm, uh, Buffy the Vampire Slayer mm, it was a TV okay. show, right? Um. Mm-hmm. Oh, what was that one with Alyssa Milano? There were three of them. There were witches. Oh. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh, but anyways, Bewitched is that four, mm-hmm. three, four? Bewitched, and then, um. Oh. Um. She had a painter that always wore white. Um, uh, um, what? Eh. Oh, come on! I got so. Oh, here. Okay, fine. I cheated. Here's here's the fifth one. Zena, warrior princess. <laughs> I think you were thinking of Murphy Brown before. Murphy Brown. Thank you. That's what I was thinking of. Murphy Brown. All right, folks, and it's the last game in our episode with Mr. David Serda. And this one's called, good old-fashioned, The Wheel of Wonder. The Wheel of Wonder. (laughs) All right, folks, that's where I am going to spin this wheel right behind me. And, David, you have to do whatever it lands on. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready? So, folks, if you haven't seen this, we'll give you a little Are recap. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm ready. You know why? Because okay. I have a great producer, Brent, that is a master editor. So he's going to make both of us look good, even though you don't good. need to. You look fantastic all the time. Oh, <laughs> okay. Thanks. Aren't I, aren't I a great host? You're a fabulous host. Thank you. Okay. I don't have you as good as hair. all the time. Thank you. This this jacket, by the way, is in honor of your character for the mouse trap. <sighs> well, you know, I I have my costume. You got I your costume? My, yeah. Well, I, yeah, I bought it. Nice. <laughs> I didn't want anybody else to have it. It was a phenomenal costume. And then you rip out, you rip off your jacket, or you take your jacket off and you're in shorts in the dead of winter. Well, that's what I got. The coat. I couldn't really think of a ways to wear it or places to wear it, but the the suit, I just you know, the costumes were so amazing for that show. All right, David, are you ready? Yes. Here we go. Ooh, okay. So there is wording on here. This one landed on sing. A song. So, David, I want to hear the best 15 to 25 seconds of a song. All right. One way or another, I'm going to find you. I'm going to get you, get you, get you, get you. One way or another, I'm going to win you. I'll get you. I'll get you. Whoa. That was amazing. That was amazing. That was good for good for my character in Mousetrap too, right? That was good. I don't know. Thank you so much, David. Oh, thank uh, you. You I did a thing. You all. Oh man, David, we miss you so much. I had such a good time there. I really did. Yeah. And I I missed the cast and the crew. Yeah, you guys were like a family. It was pretty awesome to watch. We 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 got along really well. Yeah. It's a good cast. Well, thank you. I hope everybody is staying safe. Yeah, David, do you have uh, do you have anything to say to our viewers? Well, I I think um, I am going forward and taking the opportunity to use this and make it make it something good. Um, don't give up hope and have a good time and use this time to to um, donate to your favorite arts organizations you know this is an opportunity to to really show show everybody what what we're made of that's right that makes gosh darn it we're made of (laughs) something we're made of something damn it that's right (laughs) well david thank you so much you look fantastic and um hope to see you on a stage um, in Chicagoland soon um, when all this ends. And everybody, this is Matthew Sitz signing off with What's Up with Matthew Sitz with very special guest, 
me, the Mr. David Serrata. Thank you, everybody. Bye.